the Ad Council. The best stuff ever. Brought to you by Radio Shack. I need a new phone, so I'll go to Radio Shack, take their advice, and buy a Sony Ericsson Z750 with AT&T service. It has a 2-megapixel camera, FM radio, and a web browser, so I can surf the Internet. And then one day at a car dealership, I'll find the price of a car too high, but the salesman won't agree, and he'll throw me a challenge, and he'll get me the car for free if I find it for cheaper, so I'll use the Internet on my phone, find it for cheaper, and get it for free. And I'll owe it all to Radio Shack. Don't just buy stuff. Do stuff. See your local Radio Shack dealer with Southside Electronics, Blackstone Square Shopping Center. Well, I think it all comes down to this. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Blackstone's down by three. Hopefully they'll... They got, they got hit balls here. They're at the top of the lineup. This is the time to do it. You're going to step up and do something. Now is the time to still step up. Yeah, they got three more at-bats here. So, I'm, I mean, you know, they're hitting the ball, but they're hitting it right at people. Yeah, time to start hitting in those pockets. You know, really make the other team work for it. Let's be honest here. Another big thing is that Farmville just has not been making mistakes. They've been playing really good defense, you know, not making the same mistakes. That really, let's be honest, Black still made in the uh, first two innings. Well, any time when you, if you walk a player or they get on base by any means, and then all of a sudden, here comes, you get your, um, you know, you, you then somebody hits a home run or suddenly just move those men around, the score runs up very, very quickly on it. Yeah, Josh Bond at the bat now. He is uh, 0 for 1, hit a popper to first to uh, first base and got easy out. Here comes Hard hit ball to the left field. And that's going to bring up a runner on board already with no outs, and that's going to bring up Brandon Parrish. He still swung at that first pitch. <laughs> well, Brandon Parrish now with a different bat because he broke, broke the, the last, last one. <laughs> yep. By the way, that brings up, uh, he is 0 for 1 last time he was up. So, with a runner on board, Brandon Parrish, runner on, on first. He hits this one to go to the first base. Oh, double play. They're going to set up the double play. They're going to try it. No, but out number one. And Josh gets out on a field of choice. That's a good way for him to break up that double play, bat though. Two, yeah. Logan Powell. Logan Powell is up. And Matt Hart will follow him. So they're starting to at least hit Fitz a little bit now. Starting to timing out some. But they still need to be patient. Yeah, stop swinging everything. I mean, that's two hit, two pitches and two hits, though. But you got to be. I mean, you can't be swinging everything. Make him work. Make him tired. That one's going to be go. way down in there for ball number one. One ball and no strikes. Yeah, is that, and that's very important, especially in this time of the game. Yeah. I've seen Fitz getting tired about this time. Here comes now the pitch. And this one's going to be a hard right to the uh, shortstop. Second base, they're going to try to third, and he he does not make it. Matthew Hart will be coming up next. Well, this one, Matthew needs to be patient. Yeah, I mean, don't get all He can swing. bring this one swing. He can bring this uh, score within one run. But he's got to be very patient. I mean, you're right, but, and they're going to be thrown up towards his eyes and places he's known to swing at by this point. They pretty much got him probably figured out right now. Well, I'll see what Matthew can do. And I tell you, Fitz has not really thrown Matthew anything really, really good. Yeah. He throws one good, it could sail out of here. That's this one's going to be low, ball number one. I don't think they got to worry about uh, Logan stealing. He doesn't no. really have the speed for it, I'm afraid. <laughs> so one ball and no strikes now to Matt Hart. This battle's going to be one at the plate, I'm afraid. <laughs> here comes now Fitz with a pitch. He's pitching to Matthew way down there. And is basically no, not steal. trying to throw. They're going to not trying to throw the guy at second. I'm surprised he's able to make that one. Matt should get on board somehow. Drew Pumphrey will follow by Jacob Morris. And that's where he started actually hitting. Yep, you know, the last time in the lineup. Yeah, Pumphrey had a heck of a single. Here comes now Fitz. Here comes a pitch. Oh, that's strike. an error for strike number one. One ball and two strikes. But you know, that's such as bad. Like you said, you wait till he throws strikes. You yep. Oh, yeah. Him. I mean, pitch it. I mean, that's now up to 51 pitches himself. All right, here comes now the pitch. And it is. He hit oh. Matthew right in the back. Yeah. Matthew's not happy about that. He throws the bat down sort of in a nonchalant way. But it was okay. That will bring up Drew Pumphrey. Hey, you know what? Hit by a pitch is a, is a, is a, is a single, though. Yeah. Still gets that person on base. Yep. Yeah, but the only problem is we need to kind of put runs on the score, and there was oh, two yeah. outs. So been better off if Matthew could have gotten some big hit to move the men around. Yeah, but Pumphrey has been getting good hit today. He got a single last time it was up, and now with men on base, a single will probably bring the score in. 
Runners on first and second go with two outs, so they'll be hitting. He'll be running on the crack of the bat. Here comes down the pitch from Matthew. Oh, the ball. There you go again. Right to the shortstop. Third base, no problem. And that will be out number three. So, two down, I mean, two up. And uh, run two men left on, but nobody scored. It's five to two. Prince Edward will be right back right after this. These are not your ordinary doctors. They are the accounting surgeons. Allow them to show you the personal attention it takes in order to receive every single deduction you deserve. The accounting surgeons and crew are here for you all year long, not just January to May. Whether you need tax preparation, payroll work, or bookkeeping services, call the accounting surgeons today. 434-538-0595. They offer very reasonable rates along with their year-round service with a smile. Located at 126 East Carolina Avenue in Crew. the accounting surgeons are here for you. Phone 434-538-0595. Jill, why don't you tell the class what you did this weekend? Well, my dad and I went in search of some magical minnows and found a zillion of them in the stream from our lookout rock. Then my sister and I escaped from an evil slug king and went back to my super twig fort for safety. Then we told stories till it got dark and the Big Dipper led us all the way home. Whoa. Where were you, Jill? We went to the forest. It's not that far away. Ask your parents to take you and your friends to the forest this week. It's closer than you think. Check out discovertheforest.org. Brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service and the Ad Council. Well, we're trying to find out who is the batter coming up for Prince Edward Farndale. Yeah. This is usually the time they start messing with the batting order, so it throws us off quite a bit. They got a 5-2 to uh, two lead. Looks like number 8. Number yep. 8. Okay, that's number 8. And who's on deck there? That's probably going to be 21 or something, right? That'd be Chase Gibbs, isn't it? Oh, how do you spell that? No, on deck. I said he was on deck. I think that's the uh, top of the batting order. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah, 20, so it's 21 after him, right? Chase Grubbs. Yeah, Chase, Chase Grubbs. Grubbs. Okay. All right. Matthew. You know, Matthew here. He's uh, three, three good throws and three good strikes here. Matthew now looks. He's going to wind up. Here comes down the pitch. Swing and a miss. Crichton number one. Well, my, Matthew basically is beating him right now with his fastball, and that's no surprise. Hey, it's your bread and butter when you're yep, a fast pitcher. Yep. He just needs to stay with his form and stay with it. Here comes the next pitch. Here comes the pitch. This one's going to be uh, high. However, it's an air for ball one, one ball, and one strike. I think he tried to change it that time there, Tim. Well, he, no, he, he stood straight up. He, oh, stood, okay. he didn't bend that back and follow through. I got gotcha. you. Matt will look. One and one is the count. Here comes now the pitch. And this one's going to be a maybe slightly high in yeah, air for ball two. Don't want to lose this batter either. We can't, no, no, right now it's got to be almost three up and three down if you're going to have any chance of pulling this game out. we got the power hitters coming up next. Here comes now the pitch. And this one's going to be a hard hit ball. And the only one that had a chance of that one was the base coach. <laughs> Well, now bring up two balls and two strikes down for Matt. Well, Matthew, needs a, Matthew needs to sail this one down here at 100 miles an hour if he can and get this guy out of his hair. Two and two is the count. Matt will now wind up. Here comes down the pitch. Strike number three, and he did just that, and that will be a strikeout. That was a, that was a fastball. Now, how many strikeouts that make Matt? You can definitely uh, hear that pop. Four you strikeouts. You can definitely hear that pop of that, uh, of that glove from up here. I believe we got Mr. That's going to be uh, on top of batting order. That's going to be Xavier Wraith of the bat, I believe, right? Yeah, this is the one who hit a home run yeah, the last, one took, last at bat. So Matthew's got to be careful, this guy. Matthew winds up. He needs to come with his fastball if he can. Here comes now the pitch. He swings at this one. This one almost goes straight up, but it does go foul and out of play. And there for strike one. Whenever Randy says, don't throw a strike, I mean, don't throw a curveball on this guy. <laughs> yeah, he, dug, he dug a, uh, he dug a, uh, what's he his name? He doesn't throw a curveball. He doesn't throw a curve, so. <laughs> All right. 
Matthew needs just this to come with everything that he has. Here comes down a pitch, and that one's going to be fouls. And that's all right. We'll strike that as a strike. The only thing I do is strike one more, and he'll he'll get him out of his hair. What do you that was think? a good we, change up. Okay, right. What do you think here, Tim? Uh, right now would be a uh, fastball high outside. High fastball outside high outside because yep. he just threw the, the change up, so come back with that high outside fastball. Yep. He needs to light him up if he can here. So Matt now looks, winds up, he winds up, here comes down the pitch, and this one's going to go way up, foul, foul ball. They took him out. bring up still no balls and two strikes. But any type of a changeup, you don't want to give him anything too slow so that he can just time it out. It's got to be something with some heat on it. Yeah, but you do want to throw it off a little bit. Don't don't you know, don't let him. Yeah. And now he guys he, chasing you, so and he, he can to waste throw it one outside here. the zone. Here comes out a pitch. That one's going to go back <laughs> again. Fourth foul in a row. That's why you you want to make him chase it. Make him reach for it because he seems it, like he wants exactly. he, he wants to swing at everything. Exactly. That's when, this is when you're kicking. He's a place a little outside, Especially instead down the middle like he's doing. Count. When you got an 0-2 count, great great chase pitch. Here comes out a pitch. And uh, boy, a change up and a slow one and got him out. That's strikeout number five. And the home run hitter will walk on back to the dugout. That brings up Austin Orange at the bat now for the uh, Prince Edward Farmville team. Number 21, I believe, right? Matthew had him baited all the way on that one. There's no doubt about he was it. He's chasing it, that's for sure. Yep. Matthew now winds up. Here comes now the pitch. Nice pitch oh. in there for a strike one and foul back, though. And you notice they are, they are getting contact, but it's not going anywhere for them. So, you know. Well, these first four batters are the best batters. Is, is the best batters they got, just like what we have. Yeah. Trouble is they got Matt pitching at them. It's a little bit harder to hit off of Matthew. Here comes down the pitch. Here comes Matthew with a big windup. And this one will oh, go. Good hit. And Logan Powell couldn't get his glove on it in time. And that will be in there for a base hit. So Logan just kind of looks down as disgust, and I don't know. He, I don't know if that was a bad hopper or if it just he oh, just yeah, missed. I'm not, I'm not sure if that's a fieldable ball or not. I can't tell from I had a guy I had a, a first baseman in my way. All right, Matthew Fitz is up. Matthew needs to light this guy up. Here comes down the pitch, swing and a miss, and he does he strike one. one. Josh Bond playing second base right now and. Of course, Morris came over to try to get, they didn't throw the ball, but Josh Bond wasn't quite where to back far enough to back him up if the ball was thrown. That wouldn't have been good. Bronson playing center field should have actually come up on that any time a play like it. So. Oh, yeah, most definitely on an attempted throw down, even if it's not thrown down, just showing that hustle. No balls in one strike to Matthew Fitz. Matt winds up. Here comes down a pitch. That's going to be high. This is and there for ball one, one ball and one strike. This is uh, Austin Roach, by the way, not Fitz. Was oh, that all? Okay. Yep. All right, Fitz is on deck. Okay, Roach. Sorry about that. Come on, Drew. Well, still the results need to be the same. We need to get them out. Here comes down the pitch. And this one's going to be right to Josh Bond. Josh will throw it to Peyton Lawson at first base. He's going to be out at number three. So... Once again, almost three up and three down. One man left on base, though, and that is five to two. We'll be right back right after this. Brought to you by Radio Shack. I need a new phone, so I'll go to Radio Shack, take their advice, and buy a Sony Ericsson Z750 with AT&T service. It has a two-megapixel camera, FM radio, and a web browser, so I can surf the Internet. And then one day at a car dealership, I'll find the price of a car too high, but the salesman won't agree, and he'll throw me a challenge, and he'll get me the car for free if I find it for cheaper, so I'll use the Internet on my phone, find it for cheaper, and get it for free. And I'll owe it all to Radio Shack. Don't just buy stuff. Do stuff. See your local Radio Shack dealer at Southside Electronics, Blackstone Square Shopping Center. These are not your ordinary doctors. They are the accounting surgeons. Allow them to show you the personal attention it takes in order to receive every single deduction you deserve. The accounting surgeons and crew are here for you all year long, not just January to May. Whether you need tax preparation, payroll work, or bookkeeping services, call the accounting surgeons today. 434-538-0595. 
They offer very reasonable rates along with their year-round service with a smile. Located at 126 East Carolina Avenue in Crew, the accounting surgeons are here for you. Phone 434-538-0595. Back here at Leonard Field in Lunenburg, Virginia, I'm John Hart along with Robbie Hart. Tim is up on top of the white elephant, dodging foul balls, dodging foul balls. <laughs> About Jacob, three so far. Jacob Moore to the bat. Jacob Walk last time he was up back in the uh, second inning. About the only really good inning that Black Jones had is that second inning. Well, once again, we were talking about it during the break, but one of the things Farmville has not made State number one in the field. They have been almost perfect. Yeah. Except no that errors one, at all. Except, except for that one to throw up first. They didn't mess up on that one. Yeah, but that was the only one. Yeah. That was a rush play. Well, Matthew Fitz keeps on pitching. And boy, I, I got to say this. They're also, it's kind of strange that they're pitching Matthew completely out, but they want to win this ball game. Yeah. I mean, it gets easier for the next team that plays. And remember, you're playing a tough team tomorrow. Yep. Ball that one's going to be in the, in the ground in there for ball one, one ball and two, one strike. But any pitcher can get tired. I mean, you got to work him down. He's up to 55 pitches now, so his arm's starting to get a little sore by this point. One and one is the count. Here comes down the pitch. Swing and a miss in there for strike two, one ball and two strikes. It may have been tipped, but doesn't make any difference. One ball and two strikes. Once again, uh, Fitz is able to stay way, way ahead of batter here for today. Yep. Here comes down a pitch. And that one's going to have a duck with that one. Oh, a little high. This wasn't really inside, though. He kind of ducking for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> but, see, we have had terrible success getting on, really getting on base. Well, we just haven't worked his pitch is what it comes down to. I mean, he, we, swing, we swing a bad thing. Swing and a miss. Strike number three. That ball looked a little high. Yeah. That brings up R.D. R.D. had a nice base hit and an RBI for a day. So he's actually had a uh, pretty good day, all things considered. See if he can uh, turn the corner here for Blackstone. Come on, R.D., do it again. Well, here comes the pitch from Fitz. Well, that one's going to be... Way out. to hold back there, R.D. Yeah, yeah way to hold, <laughs> hold back. That'll be an hit for ball number one. Great that one looked like it was in. Lane. He wanted yep. to swing it, didn't oh, you yeah. can tell he was, he was begging to swing that sucker. <laughs> As inside for ball one. Here comes down the pitch. And that one's going to be <laughs> low as well. Now being there for ball number two. Artie scares me there. He looks like he's throwing the ball around. He, I'm going to swing it. He stops that last second. So I got to give him credit for having restraint, but it does scare me every time he does it. So RD has got two balls on him. Here comes the next pitch. That one is going to be in for ball three. And Fitz here has thrown three in a row there. I think that's the first time he's done that in the, I, in the game. I tell you, and this is what these guys need to do is make him throw pitches, yeah. especially with the humidity the way it is. Exactly. You're going to get very tired it's very gonna zap him. It's going to zap him. Here comes now the pitch from Fitz. And that one's low. Oh, and face on ball for Mr. Ryan Dalton. Now bring up uh, Peyton Lawson. Peyton yep. is... Uh, Hayden is uh, 0 for 1, had a, got out of got out of field's choice back in the uh, second inning. You know, and, and it was a hard hit ball again, too. Yeah, right to one of the players. Remember, be patient. He's having control problems also. And again, he just take that one. He took that one all the way. They tried to get uh, R.D. out of first base, but no, was, no going there. And that was low, too, by the way. Yep. And I mean, I mean, it... I just don't understand it. Why they need to be a little bit more patient. Here comes down the pitch, and they're going to fake a punt. <laughs> That's going to be in there for ball one, one ball and one strike. Look, that was a ball that could have been. Well, you know, you're not going to with one out. You're going to bunt being down like you are. Yeah. 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 I wouldn't have you, never done you gotta, that. You got to take go after them. You can't be playing. Swing and a miss. That one was high. One ball and two strikes. And we're just wasting a lot of oh, yeah. pitches. I mean, like, we've helped him out these last yeah. three pitches yeah, we've just, because, because the count should be three and zero right now. Yeah. Fitz now winds up. That one's going to be high. And that's being there for ball two. And RD will run on down to Great second slide. base and Great he slides. Slide. Kind of scares me sliding in this field a little bit. You never know if he's catch something, catch a foot or something, sprang an angle. But he makes it okay. Two balls and two strikes. 
Peyton Lawson needs to be a patient, but now he's got to guard the plate because he's kind of behind in the county here. Here comes now the pitch. And this one's going to be hard hit right to Matthew Fitz. And an easy out and continues to play the perfect defense. I tell you, I mean, hard shot right up the gut. That's a great play by Fitz. Now man number 21, Josh Robinson. He checked the runner, throws RD right there on second. Now, once again, we find uh, Blacks in a position to start leaving people on base. Josh Cabron's with the bat, last person on the lineup before they reset to the top again. And that one's going to be, I hate to say that, I don't know if I really want to top my lineup in this thing. They do, haven't been doing that great of a job here today. Yep, that's going to be an air for ball one. All right, Matthew Fitz winds up, pitches. That oh, one's going to be at the head. That's in there for ball number two. We're starting to see the cracks in uh, Fitz uh, pitching. Out. Yep. Oh, yeah. I'm, this inning, he's probably thrown two actual strikes, and the yep. rest have been balls. We just given it to him. And like I said, I agree with you wanting. Unless he throws a strike, that bat better not be leaving that shoulder. And that's pitch number three, and that's ball number three. Yep. It, especially when you're down by three runs. Yeah. You're taking it until you get that first thrown strike. More, we got the best best hitters coming up here next inning. So, I mean, top in second, so they're on Yeah, top. but we got two outs. That's a strike. That one's in it. Strike number one, one, oh, three balls and one strike. Still way ahead, Josh. Way ahead, baby. Go get Josh, I mean, <laughs> got to get on either way. We can do it. That's going to be in the dirt. Matt, they're going to run him. They're going to go to the three. He'll slide there in. You go. He's in there. In there at third base. And believe it or not, the tying run is up on deck with Josh Bond. Josh is uh, one for two for day. Had a good hit there on the last inning. Trying to continue his success here. Like to see Josh Bond hit the ball over. <laughs> well, that would be something because that would tie this ball game oh, yeah, right we, on up. We got a timeout too, also. By yeah, I believe. We're gonna ah, see a let's see change. who they're going to they're going to do now. I'll be very surprised if we don't see a pitching change here. Well, Fitz is their number one pitcher, though. Yeah, but he is tired. We, oh yeah. They finally wore him out, though we should have done this about three two innings ago. To be fair, yeah, especially when we were and, and we you know especially when we were down. I mean, we were tied score. Yeah. That being said, it's not in the world here. I mean. Because there is still two outs on the board, and there's you have a, run, a forced play there on second. So that gives you a little bit to play with, you know. So. They're still having a little powwow there, and oh, they're going to leave Fitz in. Fitz will stay in, yeah. And again, my guys would not swing until he threw that first exactly. Fight. Yep, make him Pitch. work for it, and then mm -hmm. it better be a good. Yeah, you know, make him. T he's tired now. Start. He's got to throw that first strike. Exactly. We've still got two more strikes. You know where we can get that hit. Here comes out a pitch. First strike, and that was low. And Josh swings at it. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. That's why that you, you're you're down you're down three runs. Yeah. He, and, the pitcher, I mean, and the pitcher's having problems. Yeah. You know. He's thrown three strikes this whole inning. No balls and one strike. Now you have. Pitch now winds up. This one's going to be low. That's in there for ball number one, one ball and one strike. But I'm like you, Tim. I mean, at, you know, when, when a pitcher starts to kind of get uneven a little bit, you've got to make him throw strikes to you. Don't just oh yeah start swinging anything. It should yeah. be two balls right now. Unless... Especially when you're down. I mean, that's just, that's just being offensive. One and one. That inside. one's going to go inside for ball number two. Yeah, we're, you're right. We're seeing this. Fitz is starting to have control problems here. And if Blackwood doesn't help, doesn't help him out here, then they might exactly. start walking out. Walk the bases loaded, exactly. which is fine. Here comes the next pitch. That one's going to be in there for ball number three. Three balls and one strike. And boy, oh boy, if bases are loaded up, Brandon and then you got Brandon Parrish that can knock the ball out of here. If they are patient, that's but they got to be. I mean, Brandon's got to be patient too. Here comes the next pitch, and why did Josh go after that one on a three ball and two make, makes it full count? I can't understand that. <laughs> I don't believe that, can't believe that Randy didn't say take that pitch. That ball was low, and we would have had a full uh, bases loaded with Brandon Parrish coming up. Here comes the next pitch. That one's going to be foul back. They got an all swing move now all of a sudden. That darn near hit a car. Who's car to hit? The white one? Yeah, that darn near, no, it darn near hit uh, both them Dodges over there. It well, fell three, right in the middle. Here's the three balls and two strike. Full count. Here comes the pitch. And this is a hard hit. Oh, and it's going, going, going. Oh, 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 oh,
with two men in this ball game is time. <laughs> and any time when a hard run is needed to get, that was a time. And that ball sailed out of here in the center field. And this ball game is tied up in the fifth inning. What a hit by Jock. You know, I got to say, I was wrong on that one, guys. I said he, I would have him sitting back there not swinging, but you know what? I would have been wrong. John, well, Matthew Fitz is getting a little tired. And now oh, yeah. is the time to take advantage of it. Well, this now that now brings the, a whole new situation. Here comes Brandon Parrish will be coming up. And the horror hasn't stopped for uh, right. Fitz yet because Brandon Parrish hit the ball off. He's, again, yeah. time to be patient. Make him throw those strikes to you. Here comes now the pitch. That one's in strike. there. Strike one. And, and that was a good pitch. Yep. Oh, yeah. He wore back and threw that one. Well, this game is now taking new life with that home run. Here comes now the next pitch. Swing and a miss by Brandon. Brandon's having trouble it. making yeah. contact. I don't know what he was looking at that time. Do you, Tim? Hey, he looked yeah, up the air. No, he, he was looking all the way down there, down third base line. Yeah, looking at the moon. The moon. The moon. sky. sky the airplane, but anything but the ball. <laughs> anything but the ball, that's right. Now Randy Webb is coming over and going to be talking. This is actually a, a job. I gotta say, I, I'm Brandon starting to feel a little bit depressed for Blackstone there, but things change fast, don't they? Oh yeah, in a matter of one swing. Well, any time when you, the, the secret is, you got uh, Fitz got behind in the count. Yep. Yeah. And he and he had to leave it there. Here comes down the pitch. Uh, that there was going to be low for ball one, one ball and two strikes. Now we can now, on base here. Magic can get up. I mean, with Logan and Magic coming up. That could be good for. I mean, we got an opportunity here, even with two oh, outs. Yeah. Oh it's yeah, big opportunity. And then, and, and then the end of next inning too. Oh, 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 oh. hope you Hey, you know, hey, and that's just as good as a base hit yeah. right there. Oh, there's a lot just more. Just as painful. good as a base hit. <laughs> it is a lot more. Just painful, as good though. as a base hit right there. Yeah. Now bring up Logan the pal, and then Hart will follow. And Logan is a. Uh, Oh, for I mean one for two for the day. He's uh, got a got a hit. Although I think it may have been a fielder's choice. I'm not sure it really counts for him. And boy, Fitz is having a terrible time. Uh, he shook up. Yep. That bomb by Josh, it, it it really shook him up. Here comes now the pitch. That one's going to be inside, and that's going to be ball one. And he almost got Brandon Parrish. You better watch it. Now is the time you don't want to break up the rally, and I'd yeah. stay close to second base. Yeah. I wish the umpire would move over to the right a little bit. He's in the middle of my field of view. That's a problem having a low camera today, guys. Yeah. Here, here comes the pitch. One ball and no strikes. Hard oh, hit. Oh, the oh, good, good and, play by second base. Yeah. That would be a third and final out. So, it's 5-5 five to five with one man left on. 5-5. Five to five. We'll be right back right after these messages. Hey, Amen. These are not your ordinary doctors. They are the accounting surgeons. Allow them to show you the personal attention it takes in order to receive every single deduction you deserve. The accounting surgeons and crew are here for you all year long, not just January to May. Whether you need tax preparation, payroll work, or bookkeeping services, call the accounting surgeons today. 434-538-0595. They offer very reasonable rates along with their year-round service with a smile. Located at 126 East Carolina Avenue in Crew. the accounting surgeons are here for you. Phone 434-538-0595. Brought to you by Radio Shack. I need a new phone, so I'll go to Radio Shack, take their advice, and buy a Sony Ericsson Z750 with AT&T service. It has a 2-megapixel camera, FM radio, and a web browser, so I can surf the Internet. And then one day at a car dealership, I'll find the price of a car too high, but the salesman won't agree, and he'll throw me a challenge, and he'll get me the car for free if I find it for cheaper, so I'll use the Internet on my phone, find it for cheaper, and get it for free. And I'll owe it all to Radio Shack. Don't just buy stuff. Do stuff. See your local Radio Shack dealer at Southside Electronics, Blackstone Square Shopping Center. Wow, back here. Had a moment of fear there. At the top of the six, man. Uh, Jacob Morris started going to play. So they, what oh in yeah. the world were they? They were going to take him out. And we all, everyone in the field, what? Everyone in, what? <laughs> <laughs> six inning? Tie game? You're going you to take out your best pitcher against Matthew Fitz, by the way? Now, Matthew needs to go. Remember, he burn it past his gutter, burn it inside. Walk him, so what? Inside out. Inside out. Exactly. 
All right, Matthew needs to light them up here like nothing, like he's never done before. Here comes now the wind up. Here comes now the pitch. And this one's going to be foul back. In there, are strike number one. You know, I'm glad they put my car back there. Oh, yeah. That brings up no balls in one strike, even hey. though the scoreboard says one and one. Come on, man. All right. Okay. Here comes now the pitch. There we go. Lined up. And nice pitch uh, down a little bit outside, though. That was a good bit miss, low, though. Yeah, too. good miss. But we said yeah. it before, if, if Matty does walk this guy, it's not in the world. Because no. this is the last really good hitter left. After him, it's all kind of the, uh, the secondary people. All right. All right, now looks and winds up. Here comes down the pitch. Oh, yeah. right, there you strike go. number two. No, one ball and two strikes. I bet you Fitch won't sit there wait again, will he? And it's yeah, all about hitting them corners. Yep. I don't know if Matthew's looking at, at Tim or if he's looking at Randy. <laughs> <laughs> but he's way ahead of no, Nevertheless, he's way ahead of his batter. Here comes down the pitch. Oh, oh, he's going to bow. Oh, hard. Yeah, around the crowd, Mike, there. And the old crowd, Mike, takes the beating and click, keeps on ticking. Oh, that be one ball and two strikes. Here in the sixth inning, it's tied score. Farmville, Prince Edward Farmville, and Blackstone going at it. Matthew look, again, yeah. looks over, gets the signal. Now here comes the pitch. Oh, what was yeah. that? Oh, it was him. Got one of those sucker. That was that was that change up. Yeah, that sucker went in slow motion, didn't it? And wow, I couldn't, I, I, I couldn't believe that. Hey, nice, nice pick. <laughs> I'll hold out the ground right there, Tim. Otherwise, we all get pain. Hold on, the, hold on the button. Okay. Yeah, I forgot. That's what I was telling him to throw. All right, here comes now the pitch. Oh. Hard hit ball. This oh, one's going to go no. out of here. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. yeah. Mm, good hit. No doubt about it. And that was Fisher did that one. Yep, that was a good hit by uh, Jacob Fish. No doubt about it. Well, you know, the thing of it, just throwing that quick, all they got to do is put the bat on it. Yeah. Now, Matty needs to settle down. Don't let it get to him. Matthew looks over and smiles at Tim on top of the thing. Good hit by uh, Jacob Fisher. It may have won the game there. So the, uh, Matthew Drew coming to bat now for uh, Prince Edward Farmville. All right, here comes now the pitch. Swing and a miss. It's in there for strike number one. The one thing about Prince Edward Farmville, they got some hitters on their team. Oh, yeah. They got some big boys. They got yeah. some big boys yeah. on their team. All, just about all of them are 12-year-olds, by the way. I mean, we, here comes now the pitch. It's so going to be high. But already in this ball game, you got to look at three, three home runs in this game. So, one and one now is the count. Here comes now the pitch. Swing and a miss. I'll be in here for strike two. So Matthew's not shaken up very much by that home run. Well, don't let it bother you. Again, you're out of the, out of the really tough people. Oh, yeah. You just got to do what you need to do. Yep. Oh, you know, and that's their only run that they've scored on that, too. Here comes now the pitch and the wind up. And it's going to be right out there. Good 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 Peyton Lawson. Good 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 he makes good a nice one-handed catch there. And I'll be out number one. That's a beautiful catch on Lawson. Yeah, very good catch by Lawson. Yep. I think it's out number two. Uh, yes, out number two. So other than the home run, still doing okay, but that puts Farmville up by one. Here comes down the pitch. That one's going to be fouled back. I enjoyed you, Jim. Yeah. I think this is going to be uh, Walker Sanderson. He's uh, one for two. Had a nice double back in the uh, second inning. For no balls and... One strike. You, know, you got to give Farmville credit. Every time they've been down, they've been able to produce and come back and come ahead of Blackstone. Every time. Here comes down a big hit. This one's uh, going to be low. low. Actually, Matthew's really oh, first bad pitch, I want to say. It was way low. One and one is a count. I think they've been trying to sucker him into one that just didn't go the way he wanted it to. And Matthew's going to have to treat every batter like he can head it out of the park and yeah. make sure that he throws and keeps the heat up. Yep. Come on, Matt. Especially with how humid it is out here. Yep. Um, here comes a wind up by Matthew. And that one's going to be a little bit high, but that will be fouled back, and that puts in strike number two, one ball and two strikes. A big bang that hit someone's car that time? No, it actually made it right in the back of the bed of a pickup truck. <laughs> it was a three-point shot. Very important pitch for Blackstone. They yep. get out here, they might be able to 
One and two, fun. Matthew winds up and he tries uh, that change up. And the thing is, that change up just didn't get anywhere close. No. So that brings up two and two is the count. Good fastball, and he needs to really light him up. Here comes now the pitch. Matthew winds up, and there goes that pitch. There goes the ball foul again, hit towards one of the cars that are parked out there. And I'm glad I'm not. Well, I am parked back. You are parked out there. Yeah, you are parked over here. Well, two balls and two strikes. One, two and two is the count. Here comes Matthew, lights him up. Ah, ball three. That's going to be ball three. That was really right at the, at the knees. All he's got to do is get out of this inning and hang in that. So now is not the time to leave anything on the table. No. Well, the bases are cleared right down. Matt liked to keep it that way. Here comes out a pitch. This one's a hard hit ball right into the hole. And Bronson will pick it up. He will bobble it. But the runner will remain as he throws it to Josh Vaughn at second base. That brings up, uh, I believe, it's going to be Dylan Johnson to the bat. Dylan Johnson. Dylan is 0 for 2. Come on, Matt. So Matt can just settle down, throw some strikes. He might be able to get this guy out here and get out of this inning. Trouble is, you don't dare pull Matt out by oh, any no, means. No, no, the, no. And the reason why you don't do that, because if you one run, and now tie the ball game up, you still got to have your best pitcher in it. And Matthew's coming up on the other side of the pitch, so, I mean, the bat. Yep. Here comes now the pitch, one run on board. Oh, That'll be an error for strike number one. You go, Keep him, Matt. So Matt's really pitching a pretty good ball game, though. Yeah, he got easy. Considering that if you take out the home run, he's, he, he's done very well. That's the only run that they scored. In yep. In four and a swing and a miss, strike number two. That being said, that was a very important home run. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that was probably the most important home run of the game, honestly, for his farm bill. <laughs> no balls and two strikes. We say just a home run, but that was yeah. a big one. <laughs> All right, here comes now the windup and the pitch. And this one's going to be right to Matthew Hardy. Under calls it the loss in third and final out. So, as we go now, last chance hotel for the Blackstone. They're trailing six to five. We'll be right back. This is it right, right here. Six. here. These are not your ordinary doctors. They are the accounting surgeons. Allow them to show you the personal attention it takes in order to receive every single deduction you deserve. The accounting surgeons and crew are here for you all year long, not just January to May. Whether you need tax preparation, payroll work, or bookkeeping services, call the accounting surgeons today. 434-538-0595. They offer very reasonable rates along with their year-round service with a smile. Located at 126 East Carolina Avenue in Crew, the accounting surgeons are here for you. Phone 434-538-0595. Nurse, set up an IV. And you, her boyfriend, you were the driver? Yes, doctor, but I didn't mean to hurt her. I only had a few drinks. I was just buzzed. Just buzzed? Oh, then your girlfriend is fine. Hey, sweetie, I feel great. She's really okay? What are you kidding? No, not really. Nurse, get me a suture kit. Stack. Buzzed driving. Maybe we should stop acting like it's no big deal. Buzz driving is drunk driving. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Transportation and the Ad Council. Back here at Linhard Field, it's right now it's six to five in favor of Prince Edward Farmville in a very tight ball game here. A new pitcher is uh, coming in. Yeah, Matthew needs to be very patient with this guy. Don't go all swinging. Yeah, probably not warmed up yet. And if nothing else, you need to get time to time him out. I mean, they brought him in a situation today. He's probably no slouch, so don't take him lightly. Well, Hanny, believe it or not, and he's got the hit away signal on. Here comes down the pitch. Well, that one's going to be in there for ball one. Matt didn't take it. No. And let's see no, what he's your, no, your strike zone. Oh, by the way, Xavier White will be is pitching now for the uh, Farmville team. Forgot to mention. That. All right, here comes down a pitch, and that one's going to be hold back. Ball number two. Good way to hold back there. Again, make him zero in. Know where you're. Only hit it if it's where you want it. Matthew's capable of taking out his taking out a park and tying the game right back up. All right, Xavier White 
pitching for Farmville. He pitches, yep. and that one's going to be inside for ball three. Three balls and one strike. That's way outside, yeah. And one run is a big deal here because that ties the ball game up. Yeah, it keeps it going. And we got a lot of hitters that are coming up. Here comes now the pitch from Xavier White. Hard hit ball, and that one's going to go to left field. And Matthew with a nice single and a base, a nice base hit. That and that's going to bring up Drew Pumphrey. Drew Pumphrey is up, and Matthew's got some speed, too. Drew Pumphrey is uh, one for two for a day. Made a nice hit back in the second inning, but hasn't had much luck there since then. So, But new pitcher, new chances, right? All right, get ready. Looks like he's got the bunt signal. Oh, no. He's got a bunt signal. I just saw <laughs> gave the bunt we'll signal. We'll see. No? Uh, well, it looked like he was doing a bunt signal. I know the signals of, of, of uh, Randy. Anyway, in there for strike number one. They changed it on you, dude. But look, they've got to make sure that they worked his pitch. Yep, swing it. Only stuff you know is good. Here comes down the pitch. Swing and a miss. Uh, late swing, in there for strike way number behind. two. Way behind. Yeah. But the thing is, I hate, to, I hate to be the one to say this, but base hits inside the diamond ain't going to do it. Yeah. They're playing too good a defense. Matter of fact, they had made one mistake the whole game. And that was a sucker pitch, got a piece of and he got a piece of it and hangs in there. No balls and two strikes. And boy, it seems like every time Blacks has come out tight, Parvillo just pulled away. From and that was a hard hit. Oh, no, 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 in the hole. Matthew will hold up at third base. Beautiful hit. Right Beautiful piece of hitting by Drew. Yeah, that brings up Mr. Uh, Jacob Morris now. Jacob Morris, uh, 0, uh, 0 for 1. That was great two-strike hitting by Drew. Yeah, great that was good two-strike two hitting. Yep. Now, they're going to call a timeout. They're going to call a timeout. They're going to change a pitcher again. No, they're not going to change a pitcher. They're going to have a talk with them, though. Calm them down. Let them know what the problem is, you know. Yeah, Chris Pumphrey, assistant coach. Well, actually, he is the, he's a coach, but Randy Webb's the manager. He's on out there and talking to Matthew. We can zero in on Matthew for a second. <laughs> Say, Matthew, you got to run when the ball's hit, you know. <laughs> Johnny's saying to him, you know, Matt, when that ball's hit, you got to run. Don't, don't get caught in a double yeah. play. Anything on the ground, line drive freeze. Yep. Line drive freeze, anything. But if, if it hits the ground, you take off like a bullet. Make sure they can't catch you. The tying run there on uh, first. Well, or on second, rather. And Jacob Morris can hit the ball, too. But here comes the pitch. He fakes the bunt. Well, now he comes out there, and that'll be an air ball number one. Well, I tell you, they were real, real, real slow about covering over there on third base, too. Yeah. Anyway, one ball and no strikes. Runners on first and second with no outs. And that was going to be a strike. Inside. And they call that a strike. Oh, oh, strike. I don't believe it. That ball. That was high, dude. I'm not going to lie to you. Yep. One and one is now as a count. Here comes down the pitch. That one's low. That's in there for ball number two. Two balls and one strike. All you can do is let it go. Don't let it bother you. Yep. You still got to play. You know, you got it. Yep. One ball and two strikes. You got no outs. So they got to be patient. Here comes down the pitch. And that oh, one's going to be low that again. was low and outside. And I can't believe it. Wow. Two, and, two and two. Here, Chris Pumphrey's in strike zone. Is everything got to hit what you can hit? And that one's going to be. I didn't call that a strike. And that's going to be in there. Full count. Three balls and two strikes. Uh, he's got to protect his plate. Anything yeah. that's close. Yeah, this guy, I mean, this guy's actually doing a decent job here. So. Well, he'll be running on anything right now, I guess. Yep. Even though it's one out. Well, well, you no, don't there's want no outs. No outs. I yeah. mean, no outs, but still they're gonna run on anything because. Oh, and there it is. And good now. Oh, 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 Matthew. Oh, actually, he's safe. No, it no, was a force out. Forced out. Forced it out. was a force out. Oh, of all the ten, get out, man. Well, I don't know how much I can blame that. They would have made there no matter what. Man, oh man, what a time to get into a double play. And what a play by the third base. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to say, I tell you, anything inside the diamond has not worked for Blackstone. That brings up RD. RD's actually uh, had a measure of success. One uh, a base hit and an RBI for him and a walk. And that, 
Wax can find himself just one more out here from, uh, deep, from knocking into the loss bracket. Yep. What a heartbreaker. Here comes out a pitch. And they kick that third pitch. And it goes foul, strike number one. A lot of talk is going to be about the umpire for those two bad pitches. No, those were bad. I'm sorry, those were they were those, bad pitches. That should have been a walk a long time ago. I hate to say that, but yeah, I'm usually pretty. I usually go with the umpire a lot of time, but those ones were way low. Those, those are critical too. You can't make those mistakes. So here comes down the next pitch. And that one's going to be hard hit ball. It's going to go back, back, back. And uh, the field uh, catches hard and final out. And Blackstone will go in down in defeat. Final score. Five to six. We'll be right back right after these. These are not your ordinary doctors. They are the accounting surgeons. Allow them to show you the personal attention it takes in order to receive every single deduction you deserve. The accounting surgeons and crew are here for you all year long, not just January to May. Whether you need tax preparation, payroll work, or bookkeeping services, call the accounting surgeons today, 434-538-0595. They offer very reasonable rates along with their year-round service with a smile. Located at 126 East Carolina Avenue in Crew, the accounting surgeons are here for you. Phone 434-538-0595. Back here at Leonard Field, final score, 6-5. to five. Blackstone loses, and boy, what a heartbreaker it is. Yeah, that was close. And I think, really, it could have been anybody's ball game. And really, the MVP, I had to say, of the game is going to have to go to uh, Jacob Fisher with that home run off Matthew, which was the go-ahead run. Yep. So... They will lose their first one, so they will go up against the loser. Oh, he's going to be, uh, he's going to be a Charlotte Dimity National. All right, we got a game Black coming up right after this. Yep. What will be? Joshua Bond. <laughs> and so we've what, we got Charlotte. What do we got coming up now? Charlotte against Dimity National. Oh, that ought to that ought to be a good one. So folks, don't go away. Stay tuned for all that, and we will be back in just a few minutes with that game, so don't go away on the Southside Sports Network.